Bristol, Rhode Island, a town known for its fierce 4th of July celebrations and its maritime history. Driving through town, it's hard to miss the America's Cup yacht, America Cubed, sitting in front of the Harishoff Marine Museum. The museum sits where the famed manufacturing company once stood and houses more than 60 boats. Out in Bristol Harbor, Pete Sebring picks up fresh oysters for tonight's dinner. These are all clean and ready to go. Sebring secured his first commercial fishing license at 13 and kept on going. In my heart, I'm an oysterman. I have a farm that I bought in 2002. I've been farming it for 16 or 17 years now. I get out there usually eight or nine hours a day. It is a 12 month a year job and it can be very nice and pleasant in the summer and it can be rather unpleasant and nasty in the winter. In 2014, he opened Bristol Oyster Bar, a small 37 seat restaurant. It was built as a customs house in the 1850s. I buy all my oysters from Rhode Island growers. I get them the same day they come out of the water. A very nice product to the customer that way. People come from all over for the legendary buck -a shuck where all items at the raw bar are just a dollar. Not a seafood fan? Sebring likes variety on the menu. Tonight's special, duck and pork belly ramen. I wanted to be an oyster bar first and foremost. It served a significant amount of seafood, but we also don't want people to turn away if they don't like seafood. It was a long process, a lot of work. It was worth it in the long run. I'm happy with what we've done here. Looking out from Papa Squash Neck, it's easy to understand why the late actor, Anthony Quinn, chose to spend his remaining years in Bristol. He wanted to live in New England. We just never, never turned back. Quinn may be most famous for his role in Zorba the Greek. While Quinn was an accomplished actor, two Academy Awards and the Cecil B. DeMille Awards sit in the family home, he was also an accomplished artist. Quinn's wife, Catherine, remains in Bristol, where she runs the Anthony Quinn Foundation. His art helped his acting because it helped him understand people. So he traveled around the world collecting art, creating art, meeting people, engaging with people. I have hundreds of hundreds of drawings, and those became inspirations for paintings or sculptures or monumental pieces that he did in all shapes and sizes. He would pick up pieces of wood from the beach, carve sculptures on those pieces of wood, and then he would take those and he would enlarge them into marble and bronze and wood sculptures. And so what he did as an exercise in, you know, keeping sane then became a whole world. The Anthony Quinn Foundation provides scholarships to high school students looking to further their education in the arts. When he was in high school, he was helped by Frank Lloyd Wright by entering a contest that changed the course of his life. And so 100 years later, it doesn't change. You, you're in high school, you're trying to figure your life out, you're trying to figure out who you are. We try to catch them in high school. They go to these summer intensive programs, their music, their art, they pick the programs. They have full control of telling us where they want to go. We just help them financially. Quinn encouraged creative expression throughout his life and built his career around that foundation. Without art, your life is different. How you do anything is how you do everything. You know, when you do it carefully, when you do it with love, when you do it with passion, that's what art does to people. It gives people that kind of humanity and personal touch. Inspired by his surroundings, Quinn continued to create art late into his life. His final wish was to remain in Bristol forever. This place meant so much to him, so his spirit is here, his energy is here, his creativity is here, and I think you feel it. Sometimes a place has great energy, and I think this place has great energy. April 21st was Anthony Quinn's birthday. He collected beautiful artistic eggs and kept them by his breakfast table. The eggs inspired a lot of his work. An update on the Bristol Oyster Bar. It is closed during this pandemic, but they hope to reopen soon and are encouraging people to purchase gift cards online. Up next, a Bristol adoption program is a success for two kinds of kids, human and animal.